And we are live on Facebook. I am so shocked that I found you. And this is so <laughs> perfect to have Kian Wong here with me talking about how he has managed to land seven figures. And we're going to just show you the funnel right here. He was showing me right before we got on. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is what every entrepreneur wants to know how to do. How do I put a great ad up that gets the attention of my dream buyers and then schedules an appointment without me even having to reach out to them. It's all on landing pages. Wow. And it's building up the rapport and the respect. And I look like a million dollars. So, and then from that, you've landed, right? Guy, uh, Robert Kiyosaki, Gary Vanderchuk, uh, Tony Robbins, just to name a few. So I can't wait to show everybody what you just showed me. This is so thrilling. Thank you, Amanda. It's such an honor to be here. Um, I've been such a fan of uh, your dad's Chet's work for 20 years. I was like- Yeah, show it, I love I've it. I've it up, BBI, VCDs, who- Type in yes if you've ever bought, you know, this it was 2000 Aussie. I was in Melbourne, Australia, when I think I received an email. It was Jay Abraham was doing some gig with your dad. And then the BBI, another group in Australia was promoting it. And it was like, I was like wow, I love the whole philosophy of, you know, mastering this 12, you know, like karate. Um, yeah. And I bought it and I've just been such a big fan. And I finally had that amazing opportunity to meet your father in 2008 so in 2004 or 5 i moved to new york i was just doing some volunteer work uh, for a few months and that became i'm still stuck in new york but um in 2008 i i, I saw chet was giving a talk in california so i've okay. got to go right i can't remember he was he was a guest speaker of some sort of i think not victor hansen or something it was a huge array of speakers mm -hmm. so I, was, I flew over and I just waited and waited There's a bunch of people. And after he gave his, you know, his talk and, and I just waited and waited almost the last two or three people I was just patiently waiting, went up to him. And I, he's like six foot five. And on a good day, I'm like five foot six and stuck my head up. And I said, Chet, I've been such a big fan of yours. I've come from Australia. <laughs> it was kind of true, right? Even though I've been here for a few years. Come from Australia. And uh, look, I, I now am part of this nonprofit TV network. Uh, we reach millions of overseas Chinese uh, and people inside China. Love to interview you next time you're in New York. And that was it. That was my pitch. He said, lovely, fantastic. Hey, reach out to my assistant. I'd love to love to be interviewed. When, I think he said he was about to release the book or was, he was in that process yeah. uh, of promoting the book. So uh, yeah, so I just said, oh, thank you. And that was it, I left. <laughs> I was like... And I emailed the assistant and then I think a few months later, he was in New York and I got the chance to meet him, interview him. And uh, I still remember, you know, he had time for coffee afterwards. So I, you know, afterwards we went to the corner of like, I think it was 28th and 7th Avenue, a little coffee shop in Manhattan. And uh, he gave me such, you know, it was my first, second or third interview. I can't remember. I was a complete newbie. I was nervous, wreck. And he was so... Um, you know, generous with his tips. He said, oh, I just, you know, watch how Barbara Walters, how they interview. And I was like literally following my, my questions. And he yeah. said, you've got to ad lib. You've got to just, give, you know, really listen. I wasn't listening. I was a terrible listener. <laughs> and, uh, so he gave me such wonderful tips. And then afterwards he gave me this big bear hug and uh, he knew that, you know, nonprofit and he was, and, you know, he, he's a producer, he's made films and everything. And, and he gave us his latest you know, BM, you know, Business Growth Masters Series 2.0, all 30 DVDs as a gift. I love that. Donated that, that to, to our nonprofit. And, and we, you know, you, we, I trained all, pretty much most of the sales staff over the few years. And we raised millions of dollars in donations and it impacted, you know, it really helped countless millions who really needed this, you know, nonprofit media group to, to broadcast uncensored information to and from, uh, you know, these communist regimes all around the world so anyway well i i have to say it's funny to see even the bgm that you were just showing me i mean last week we had a client reach out to us and say you know i got this 13 years ago and i would really like the workbook can you give it to me <laughs> we're like wow if that doesn't say timeless all over it, I don't know what does. I just love that. Well, let's dive right in. I really? am thrilled to see. So 
you had showed me this Facebook ad oh, yes. that is really compelling because so many of us, you know, want to get out online and, and want to put the right message in front. Can you talk a little bit about how that first started? Um, well, you know, I was heavily involved with nonprofit prior to moving to New York. I had a consulting background, management consulting, working with fortune 100 in Australia at a finance, you know, with the whole, you know, study hard, got into, you know, good university, you know, graduated working for, you know, management consulting, and then did the whole dot com thing in the late 1990s, uh, 1999, and then went back into consulting around 2002. And then 2004 had this opportunity to come to New York to do volunteer work for a nonprofit media group, okay. and did that for 10 years. And, uh, you know, it was a lot of fun. I was originally just helping with fundraising and strategy, that was my background. Um, and it morphed into being an anchor, a host, a TV producer. Oh, okay. So they you had, got your, your experience with video. That's what yeah, you're telling me. Is exactly. that you had your background with, with move with, a, didn't you have millions of views with yeah, that? Yeah, uh, we, well? we were launching YouTube channels back in 2005, okay. six in the really early days. So I became a bit of a celebrity in my little niche of Asian news and so on. Nice. Then, um, so I, I knew that where the trends were going and Facebook was blowing up, you know, a few okay. years later. You know, I got really involved with producing this, this film that became an Oscar contender. And I knew, realized, you know, when I got married in 2013, 14, I was I, it's time to kind of get back into, you know, my own business. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was heavily involved with this kind of nonprofit work for a few more years. 2016, 17, I said, all right, time to launch something, right? So okay. if, all right, I've done so much video work. I have a background in business and marketing. So what can, you know, I can offer to, to the market? Let's, let's work with mission-driven entrepreneurs. That was the first thing I really wanted to do because I felt that was, you know, who I was and that was my dream to work with other people wanted to make an impact. So I thought, you know, making a movie, the, the hardest thing was almost like making the trailer. And I realized personal branding, I was such a big fan of Gary V's, you know, you know, reading Crush It so many years ago uh, and building up our YouTube channels to millions of subscribers uh -huh. across the channels. And then I said, well, I need a trailer, right? I need a trailer. I'm not going to just whack up an image and put the traditional funnel. Let's make okay. it production. Let's yes. doing what, what term can I own? I said high impact videos. So no one had actually really utilized that a lot. So, mm -hmm. so I talked about high impact videos and how it could literally transform your business and your life. So I created a 90 second trailer, which is the average length of a teaser trailer for movies. Mm -hmm. The average trailer length is about two minutes, 30 to three minutes. And we tested two, we, we shot a three minute trailer and we ended up finding that the 90 second, 100 second was about the had best, you know, click through rates and so on. So we launched it and we had about 200,000 views. We was paid as well, some, some like 700 comments. So there was a lot of organic reach, but we boosted it. And uh, we had all these people reaching out, booking calls. It was a whole funnel. It's like what we call a documercial. It's like a mini documentary, but it's also like an infomercial. Okay. Uh, with this really strong testimonial from, you know, Forbes Riley, who's this $2 billion infomercial queen in the US and who yes. I met. And she did this amazing testimonial. So I thought I'd include that. So, you know, we were selling a coaching program for $6,000 to $15,000. And we started just getting those clients. But then within a few months, when I targeted Singapore, I reached out, this gentleman reached out who I didn't know. Who Wait, was. before you go into that story, oh, you I want to see it. Can you we... want to see the trailer? Yeah, okay. I do. All right, all right. You just um, talked about it. So sorry, let's sorry, see sorry. what that let looks me, like. Let me bring it up. Okay. Let me just share this screen if I may. Yes. I can't optimize the video, so excuse. It's going to be a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit scratchy. So I'm in the middle of Times Square, right? New York City. Yeah. 700 comments. Um, no luck with Facebook ads. It was, you know, the, the hook. Yeah. All right. Beyond here from Star. It's uh, buffering a little bit, sorry. Okay. Hi, Kian here from Star Producer Academy. Today I want to talk to you about high impact videos and how it can literally transform your business and your life. Especially if you're a mission driven entrepreneur wanting to share your message with the world or if you're a coach or consultant or online marketer promoting high ticket products and services. It's the secret sauce of how I've been able to reach the masses and generate four, five, and even six-figure clients. And it's how I've been able to get invited to speak at places like Google headquarters and a 25,000 per year genius network, where I got to present alongside the likes of Shark Tank's Damon John, Joe Polish, and the legendary Jay Abraham. 
And yes, you will need to still master online sales funnels and webinars, but importantly, video marketing is becoming more and more essential. Now I'm here in Times Square, New York City, because it's actually a, a very special place for me. It's where I've hosted many live events in front of tens of thousands of people over the past few years. But way before I became this award-winning Oscar contender, film producer, and unlikely YouTube star of all things, generating tens of millions of views online, I was living in this tiny, cockroach-infested, 250-square-foot apartment in a neighborhood called Hell's Kitchen. So I always kind of joke if a dorky, number crunching dude like me can become this mini celebrity online, then so can you. So that's, that's basically the ad, you know, it was yep. just telling my story. Um, you want to generate endorphins with a little bit of humor. You want to generate dopamine to that anticipation and oxytocin with a little bit of empathy. And then literally when I first came to New York, I said, hey, just get me some sort of apartment. And, you know, I'm volunteering just for a few months. And they found this brand new apartment, five minute walk, but it was within a few, you know, weeks, it was cockroach infested. That's New York City. Oh, probably, right? like, so I thought, and I had some pictures of it. So let's whack that in there and make it fun, right? So the whole idea was just to have a bit of a fun video, something different. It wasn't too direct response. It was kind of a bit different. It was high production, multi-cam. My wife was shooting with a cell phone. <laughs> and then I had another videographer. We had thousands of people walking past us. We had many different takes to get it right. So, you know, Times Square, what better, you know, set, you know, billion dollar set with the lights and actors or, you know, people walking around. And it was a challenge, but it was fun and really grabbed the attention of people, I guess. Yeah, it really makes it uh, feel very, the buzz is there, right? Because there's yeah. just so many people around and you're just wondering, oh, what's next? Oh, what is this? Oh, something's really seriously happening here. Yeah. I loved that. I loved that. And I'm also curious of all the comments, were you going through the comments too and just uh, yeah. replying yeah. back to them and such? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we definitely had to engage and uh, people wanted more. It's it's kind of funny. They There was a call to action, but someone was like, where do I get information? You just got to reply, reply to them and just give them a link or just say, hey, just, you know, there should be a button above or something like that. Nice. When people clicked on it, we- Yes, where did them. they go? So uh, this is what we call a, like a mini infomercial. It's a documercial yeah. funnel. Uh, that, that's what we call it. And we took them to a, this is an old uh, landing page, so it doesn't really work, so don't bother. Um, but our Dream 100 client, at the time we wanted, because we were doing a coaching program, I wasn't intending, you know, to land, I'll beg your pardon, up the, I got a landline <laughs> to take off. Um, but, uh, oh, this is live. But it wasn't, I wasn't intending to have Tony Robbins as a client, you know, Robert Kiyosaki and Gary V. I, I didn't even dream of it at the, at the time, to be honest. Wow. Uh, but I thought, you know, I want to coach people. I felt I could, you know, and, you know, probably six or seven. So we were very specific. Are you a multiple six-figure coach? I didn't change that um, headline at all. But this is the, and I had a really strong testimonial. So I thought, let's just put it in there. And, uh, you know, everyone was doing webinars. I said, no, let's go straight to social proof, right? Do something a little bit, a pattern interrupt, something slightly different. And then I figured, as Chet would say, 3% of the market ready to buy now, right? Now, yeah, you could do the full market data analysis and target, but I wanted to just get some direct response going just to, you know, get something going. And I figured those who have already been checking out competitors, when they see this testimonial, they'll probably want to reach out. So if you just watch for a minute, you'll see why. It's the secret to attracting high ticket dream clients. Hi everybody, I'm Forbes Riley. Now I know you've seen me late night television endorsing amazing people like Jacqueline and Montel Williams and some phenomenal products. But every once in a while, I bump into somebody extraordinary. And that just happened in Las Vegas. His name is Keon and you know him from Star Producer Academy. I'll tell you what, when you get a chance to work with Keon and talk to him, his mind is very fast. He sees things in people how to take your brand to the next level. If you get a chance, he does a one day or a strategy session where it's just kind of a one-on-one. -on -one. He has opened my mind to possibilities and working together with him. Oh my gosh. So, you know, the funny thing is when you look at him, and I don't think he's listening to this, he sounds so amazing. I love that Australian accent, but it's more than that. It is the depth of his knowledge. He's been around the block and he's got a passion for mission-driven entrepreneurs. And we share that. 
so we can all do things for the money. But when you do something that matters, and maybe you're stuck, like I don't know how to get to the next level, he is the man that you need to look at, and I wouldn't wait. And he's got very limited time. You want to get a strategy call with him as soon as possible. I think it's free. The information is below. Please take advantage of this opportunity because he, like I, have one mission, one passion for you guys is to take your life, your business, and your dream to the very next level. Thank you. As Chet would say, you know, the first step is building rapport, no like and trust. I could be the one presenting, saying how amazing I am, but if you have someone like Forbes Riley saying something so heartfelt and authentic, it, it beats anything. And yeah. uh, people don't care what you do. Simon Sinek, right? They care why, start with why. And fundamentally, it was all about attracting mission-driven entrepreneurs. And that's who we ended up attracting. And uh, and it was, so we, we got coaching clients, but then, you know, after a few months of advertising, this happened. You know, Patrick Liu, one of the co-founders of Success Resource, a big shout out to Patrick. You've changed my life. You know, he, back, this is back in 2017, end of 2017, October, you can see here. Yeah. He saw one of the testimonials was David Lim, the first guy from Singapore to climb Mount Everest. And he gave me a testimonial. Thank you, David, if you're watching this, you know, big shout out to you. Because Patrick saw David and he reached out to David and says, you know, is this guy for real, right? And then David sent an email, says, absolutely, go check him out. He could be a good speaker at one of your events. Because Success Resources, by the way, they're one of the biggest seminar promoters in the world. They'd run hundreds of events. I've been partnering with Tony Robbins outside of the US for, I think, like 25 years, something ridiculous. And Kiyosaki's of the world, T. Haveka, you know, you name it. They bring all the top speakers to Europe and Asia, all around the world, in Australia as well. In fact, I did the Tony Robbins because of them. Patrick reached out, uh, sorry, to David, and then he, David connected Patrick uh, to me via email. We exchanged, and it was kind of funny. And I just thanked him for, and he said, "Look, you got to speak to Richard and Veronica Time. They're the active co-founders of Success Resources." So I thanked him. Thank you so much for the introduction. Much appreciated. Pleasure's mine. I need your service, by the way. Please look at my Facebook need to help me look more sexy. It was like, it was fun, right? It's like, if you can get that reaction from a total stranger, you know you're onto something, right? That's great. Absolutely. We'd love to connect. And, and then nothing happened. You know, I, he, repl he emailed uh, Richard and Veronica Tan and then uh, they get swamped by, you know, recommendations. I didn't want to hassle them. I didn't, I just wrote, I think just once to them. I wasn't pig headed. But I knew I needed to keep in touch with Patrick. He was the gatekeeper. So I kept in touch with him. A month later, I was commenting on his uh, social media posts. And a month later, I noticed he was talking about Confucius or Mencius. And I sent it, hey, I just created this video about Confucius. So rather than sending lumpy mail, I didn't have his address. Right? I didn't want to bombard his emails, right? 90% of our messages on Facebook are opened, right? Versus our emails. So I sent him a video about Confucius and how it was related to video and business. I can't remember what it was. And, um, and then he loved it. Nothing happened. You know, he reached out and nothing happened again. And then fast forward to May, five months later, I kept, you know, every couple of months, every month or so, yeah. I would comment, right? And then eventually uh, he said, email me, right? We spoke. Uh, he connected me to, uh, we spoke finally on a Zoom call. Uh, we hit it off. He said, you got to speak to Richard. You got to be a speaker. And then did another recommendation. And that's when Veronica finally reached out and said, hey, let's chat. I'm coming to New York. Let's meet up. And, you know, when you, if you want to land seven, eight, nine, 10 figure clients, it's not just, you know, social media, book a call. And, you know, they want to meet you. They, you, they, they, they need, there's nothing that kind of replaces that, you know, breaking bread, you know, having a meal. So we, we caught up a couple of times in New York and then, you know, yeah, and then they invited me to speak at the Gary Vee event. So that was, uh, and that started. Um, and then the next thing was, I knew, how could I help them, help Tony, help all these clients of theirs? And then when I was invited to speak at the Gary Vee event, uh, I thought, I said to my team, look, we're, we're going to be one of the keynote speakers, right? What can we do to add value? Right. So I said, let's do the trailer for them because I looked at the previous trailers and I thought we could do something maybe even better. Right. Something really cool. So without asking for permission, we just did the trailer and says, hey, Veron, 
take, take a look at this. Maybe you can make use of it or get ideas from it. They loved it so much that they said, hey, can we use this? I said, yes. Uh, we need to help us sell some tickets. Yes. And we helped sell out the whole event, 2000 tickets in about six weeks. You know, they, they had some, they had some, um, they needed some help. They were just a bit swamped with different projects. So we were so lucky to get that gig. Now, internally, we did not have a media buying team that was that strong. We were brilliant video production and strategy and everything. So I quickly went down my Rolodex and I partnered with someone who did, you know, really big events before. So another tip is a strategic partnership is critical, right? It is really the, you know, you can't do everything yourself. Uh, be really good at one thing and partner with others, right? So we we did that event really well, and that opened the doors to Robert Kiyosaki, T. Harvecker's Million and Mind Intensive rebranding in Europe, and so on. And then the big one, Tony Robbins UPW. We did the whole digital marketing campaign for the ten thousand person event. That was in two thousand nineteen, and then COVID hit. <laughs> but anyway, that was a big, big project for us, uh, two thousand nineteen. Wow. But it all this happened so quickly. Well, nine months in the making, right? It's like having a baby. It's just like, you gotta just hang in there and um, just be relentless with follow-up and, and just think about how do I add value? How do I give more? And how do I just connect and build a relationship? You know, it's just, it's, that's ultimately what it's about. And um, when you were targeting on Facebook, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, target and how did you we were doing our own ads. We, we weren't experts by any means, but we knew that creatives is half of it, right? Algorithm, Facebook's algorithms are pretty darn intelligent. Their AI does the heavy lifting for you. We knew enough to just say, look, this target, you know, we were targeting a few different countries, the US, Canada, Australia, obviously, and Singapore, right? Because I knew that their GDP is very strong. Uh, they're mostly Chinese of an ethnicity like myself. So I could build strong rapport there as well. And that's the other thing. It's like, everyone wants to get a Tony Robbins as a client, but you know, who's your, the Tony Robbins of your country, right? Of your language. Think about the sub niche niches. But for us, we were lucky because Tony's partners were based in Singapore. So they had, a, and I was born in Malaysia. And in fact, oh, okay. Richard, which is like the neighbors, right? Yeah. In fact, Richard and Veronica, uh, are from Malaysia originally, I believe Patrick as well. So they moved to Singapore. So we had a lot in common and they started in nonprofit work like myself. So it came back down to the, my core story of being mission driven. You know, I was that, that whole messaging of that, the core story you could say was based on my core values and it resonated with their core values. And it just so happened they were working on the, these massive projects that we had the honor of being involved with. So, you know, the moral of the story is, you know, there's a lot of techie stuff that you can get into, but really get clear on your messaging and be true to who you are and your story. I think that's the story is what differentiates. And there's plenty of people who they've hired for digital marketing for events, which they probably have done even better jobs than we have, but it was that relationship building and our ability to just really go to that next degree of service and, and, and whatever. So you also said something that I thought was rather interesting. So I have a stat that says that the mm -hmm. average person before they reach out to a sales a salesperson, they will take in five pieces of content before yeah. they ever reach out to a salesperson. Yeah. You said something to me right before we got oh, yeah. on that I thought was also interesting. I came across this um, through Daniel Priestley. He was one of the speakers at the event that I, I, I spoke at as well at Gary V's event. He's the author, Daniel, another Aussie. He's based in the UK, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. He wrote key persons of influence, uh, oversubscribed. And in oversubscribed, I believe it was, he talks about the seven hour rule. So just Google seven hour rule, uh, Daniel Priestley. I think it's P-R-I-E-S-T-L-E-Y, Daniel uh, Priestley. And you'll see, it's actually from a Google piece of research back in 2012, I believe, where the studies show that roughly consumers, when they buy high ticket, uh, spend thousands of dollars or more, they want to do about seven hours of research before they make that decision, right? So that you're dealing with a very savvy consumer out there before they're going to, because we're talking about high ticket, you know, you're struggling to get so high they're ticket. watching online, they're watching video, they're interacting. Can that also <laughs> count as like, I ate dinner with this person, you know, we discussed over the phone. It's really what Chet, you know, they've always been talking about that, the different touch points, you know, seven to 10 touch points, you might get an email and you 
eventually <clears throat> you might send them different packages or whatever in today's world you send them you, you upload new videos you invite them to webinars and so on and the gurus might say all you need is one webinar but you forget that you've been watching the guru for years you've you know you read you know i remember reading Un unlimited power unleash the power within the book right unlimited power whatever and then that took about 10 hours. And then once I'd read that, and when as soon as Tony put an ad, I'm coming to Sydney, boom, I was there. You know, I spent thousands to get over there to Sydney. And, you know, so never forget that, especially in today's world, it's not just about one webinar for an hour and, and a funnel, right? We, we kind of like broke the rule a little bit because we knew the power of, of high impact video marketing, right? Because it's multi-sensory and the power of endorsements, all the psychological trigger points to get someone who, you know, David Lim gives this testimony. I don't know what you did to me, but to get me to reach out to you. And I'm so skeptical about all these marketers out there. I want to know what you did to me and teach me how you did that. All right. And that testimonial, you know, also got Patrick interested and so on. But as a general rule, you know, you've got to be producing a lot of content. Uh, virtual events are a great way of doing it. Some days, you know, you could be doing a seven day challenge, one or two hours a day. So you're getting people to consume that roughly seven hours, uh, not necessarily in one sitting. You need to kind of, I think it says you need to have X number of touch points as well. Uh, mm. to really build that emotional bond. I think that that's rather fascinating because just over the last year, we doubled our sales by getting very finite and niching down in our content. So if you read my father's book, right? Ultimate sales machine, he used to go, yeah, he used to go out and talk about all 12 of his core competencies. But today we have so much information out there that it's hard to take all of that in. So I have been niching down and teaching each one of these chapters and then creating a product around it so that people can take in that information. And um, I found it to be so valuable to even, even niching down and selling, you know, a, a, a mini training for maybe $7 or yes. $49 yes. or $99. So that when the right. sales team follows up with somebody, it's not, oh, they've inquired on the website. It's not like, oh, they've raised their hand. They have now become a client. They have, I'm training my following to pull out their credit card yes. and use right. it with me, right? Yes, use it. It's just $7. It doesn't matter. Just, you know, just swipe that card, you know, training yeah. them to do that so that when the salesperson is talking to them, now they're a client. There's a way different uh, interaction and our conversion rates are just through the roof. It's seven dollars, but still, it's, yes. it's amazing the difference of just little pieces of content and niching them. From what you were saying, I just thought that you know I've seen that a lot with the video that I've been doing. I'm doing a lot less webinars lately because uh -huh. there's just so many of them, and I've been doing a lot more on-demand video, and exactly. I find that that conversion is m much higher, much higher. So true. Absolutely. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of the gurus doing that. They say, hey, who wants to, for, for $7 or $20, join a masterclass for three hours or, you know, special whatever a workshop. And it's just like, it's like the, the, the book effect, right? Just get my book for free, pay $7 in shipping and handling. Most people never watch books, read, uh, never finish reading the book. But if you have a two, three hour, you know, on demand, as you said, piece of training, they'll consume that. They feel like I can consume that. And then yes. they start getting into that seven to 10 hours that they need to, re okay, I'm ready now. You know, I'm ready to go to the next level. Yeah, fascinating. Well, Kian, is there anything that you would share that, so you've done it also in the nonprofit world, right? Yeah. Millions of dollars in nonprofit. You've done it with your um, Star, Star Academy, right? Star Producer Academy, yeah. Star Producer Academy. What would be a piece of advice for those that are watching now that are thinking, wow, I'd really like to take my message and put it to video from all of the years that you've been doing video now, what is something that you wish you had known back then? Um, I think, you know, video itself is not as scary as, you know, it might appear. Uh, yeah, there are, you know, you can hire videographers, right? But, but you need a really good good on your messaging, right? You, you just practice, you know, what I say is really get clear on your, you know, strategic story. That's what we call it. You know, some people call it your signature story. Think, you know, what is, as Chet would say, what is your ultimate strategic positioning you want, right? And get clear on your core values. 
and then um, practice just with cell phone. And you don't, you can go live, but you never have to go public with that. I mean, you can record something, but you don't have to share it. So a lot of people uh, just get that super conscious about, am I going to deliver it the right way? Practice, practice. It's back to the karate discipline, right? That, you know, there's that one message. It would be to just practice your core, refine it and script it. Don't believe that you can ad lib it, you know, easily. Everything that we do, the trailers that we do are scripted. Everything that you, that video that you saw was scripted, right? It didn't come across scripted because I've had lots of years of on camera training. I knew, for example, I can record half a phrase, a sentence and cut. Okay. I knew because from a production point of view, I'm going to be adding B-roll. I already knew in advance through my storyboarding. So don't worry about all that. You can learn all that stuff just by picking up some, you know, how to storyboard a, a, a trailer or whatever, but ultimately it's that practicing so that you own that message, you really embody that. And that's what people feel. They can see through the lens and you imagine you're really talking through and trying to make a difference. Ultimately you're here to serve. And you, when you have that story and it's authentic, you know, it, it people can feel that. Mm. Thank you so much, Kiana. Thank how how can people find you? Would that be star? Starproducer uh, Star You can uh, check out our website. Um, we also have a masterclass every Thursday for free. Sevenfigurepersonalbrand.com. It's a number seven. Sevenfigurepersonalbrand.com is a free masterclass, so you can learn more about what we do. Great. And for everybody that's watching, this is part of the Dream 100 newly adapted course. Yeah. Hey, go, go to, get it. It's yeah. I bought it. I'm going through it. Buy it. It's, yeah. It's so exciting to not only see your father, I get a bit teary eyed because, you know, I was devastated. I, I interviewed him. I didn't follow up and keep in touch with him that much, you know, and I was so devastated to hear his passing. So, you know, back in 2012. So, it, you know, it's been so much to me that I get to share a little bit of his wisdom and, and the impact he's had on, on the work that I've been doing for nonprofit world and uh, the business world. And Amanda, thank you so much for, for continuing the legacy and championing this cause to transform businesses. That's what he was all about, lives transforming businesses and lives. So yeah. Um, yeah. Amazing. Well, I can't wait to see who who emerges from this particular Dream 100 course. So for those that are watching the dream100.com, you can go. It's still available until tomorrow. We'll be at a discounted rate. So get it Fantastic. now before it doubles in price. Oh, I see. It's going to double. I didn't realize that. I'm going to tell my 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 uh, my people. <laughs> so yeah, just... <laughs> yeah, do it now. <laughs> the dream 100. The Dream 100. The Dream 100. Fantastic. Thank you, Amanda. For... All right. Thank you so much. All right.